So yeah, part two. Here we go. So, like I said, in part one, first day was 12 hours and I had to sign a whole bunch of stuff, including a uh, legal sheet that said I can't talk about uh, information about the show, like what happened. So yeah, can't disclose any information, but I'll, I'll just talk about what happened to me. And yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, so if you've seen part one, then you know how I screwed up and almost got fired before my first day. <laughs> yeah, but so, I say so, so many times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, on my first day, I did meet the guy who I was in contact with the, the guy who uh, yelled at me through text message. Before my first day, like I was planning on uh, like having this whole private conversation with the guy and just like explaining that I have autism and and like my parents are overprotective a little bit and they, they just wanted to make sure that I was good and ready and I was all set up in this new city and they, they cared too much about me uh, but yeah I had it all planned out but then but then I, I talked it over with my mom and dad and they're like maybe not do all that on your first day might be a little too much so yeah I, I backed away from that and when I did meet the guy uh, he was just like hi you're Dylan hi yeah I'm so-and-so and he's like and we, we, we shook hands and he's like you, you busy right now because they need help over there I'm like Oh, okay, sure, yeah, I can help. And yeah, yeah, ne never brought up uh, what I did. Uh, yeah, N yeah, never talked about the situation again. So, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you forgot about it or just didn't want to talk about it again, but either way. I didn't get fired, so yeah, yeah, that's good. And yeah, 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 but but uh, yeah, I still wanted to apologize for it again, but since he didn't bring it up, I didn't bring it up. But but uh, I figured like, hey, maybe if I just do. A really great job that will make up for what I did and and yeah I was like trying to work hard every day like I, I actually like asked people if they needed help and doing something or if there's any jobs that need to be done and and then there were some jobs that needed to be done every day, so I would do them without being asked and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, giving a hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. For the first week, uh, apparently work was kind of slow for the, for the production assistants because uh, apparently they were building a set uh, in the warehouse yeah yeah they built it all from scratch took them uh, about two weeks to fully build it and then two days to tear it down <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, so that's what they were doing the, the first week and first two weeks, I guess. Getting everything ready, but, but, uh, like, I guess there was only so much they could do while they were building a set that they didn't need all the production assistance. And so I, I only ended up working uh, three days the first week and then two days the next week. Yeah, but, 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 but the second week, I actually, uh, had a wedding, uh, to go to, like, one of my cousins, uh, who lives, like, back east, and, uh, and I, I talked to them before, and they said, yeah, yeah, it was okay, it was, uh, yeah, they, they, I guess they really just call in as many production assistants as they need for, for the day. So, yeah, they, they just took me off the schedule for the days I was gone. Yeah, but, yeah, so that, that's why I only worked two days at one week. And then, uh, and then once they started shooting, then I was working five days a week, 12 hour days for $140 a day, which I'm now learning that's actually low for a production assistant. Like, like now, like now that I'm not working, I'm looking for other media jobs and I'm seeing uh, rates for production assistance a lot higher. Yeah, I think the lowest I've seen besides unpaid is 150 bucks a day for for other production assistant jobs. So th this was actually a little bit lower than what it could have been. Yeah, I, I didn't know that at the time, and I, but hey, now I do. But there were other perks to the job, like they would actually pay for lunches for everyone every day. They would like bring in cater, catering or give us money to go out and get your own food. So, yeah, I got a free lunch every single day I worked. And, and yeah, and then later on, there was some traveling uh, for the show. And, and, the, and they put the whole crew up in really nice hotels. Yeah, the, yeah like four or five star hotels. Yeah, they were really nice, and they were they were all free for the crew. Although for traveling, they only brought as many people as they needed. So I ended up only getting one day off that that entire time. But there were a couple of days where the only thing we would do would would be traveling. So like in that case, we were spending the whole day in the car just getting one place to another. So we were spending uh, almost the whole day in cars, just traveling from one place to another. And yeah, it was basically like having a day off. But during those first two weeks when they were building a set and I was getting extra days off, my anxiety was still uh, really high, and I, I was still freaked out over what had happened, and I was still, uh, like, 
half expecting that I was going to get fired or that they would just never call me back in. It was just a little nerve wracking for me because I still wasn't sure if I was out of the woods yet. It was fine, but just a little nerve wracking for me. A couple of people did get fired from the show. I think, like, I, I just heard from other people that a couple people got fired because they revealed information. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen to me. But all in all, I'd say it was a good experience and it was a good job to do. Uh, if I would, if I could do it again, I would, except not bring my dad to set. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, I understand why they came down hard on me. But yeah, they, they didn't want people at the the filming location who weren't supposed to be there and yeah, whole liability thing and and revealing stuff before the show airs. That's never good. They, they don't want any leaks. So yeah, I learned my lesson. And it, it does look good on a resume. So yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk more about my experiences with this job in our vlog. Like, because I'm also afraid that someone, someone's on, someone who works on the show is going to see these videos and then, then come after me for revealing too much information. But, but I, I was careful about what I said. I didn't say the name of the show, so I I should be good. Let's hope. But yeah, yeah, so until next video, goodbye.